Hi, my name is Scott McCall, and I am an artist and an instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here today with another Art in Action. Today we'll be creating Loteria cards. Loteria is a game that is played throughout Latin America and has very iconic cards and images that go along with the game. You may have seen these cards before. You may have played this game in your own home or at school. Um, but today what we're going to be doing is rather than using the cards that already exist in the game, we're going to be making our own cards. So let's get started. Today we're going to need a couple supplies. So the first thing I'm going to need is some paper to work on. I happen to have these watercolor postcards that are going to work great because they're already cut into a nice card shape, but you can use whatever paper you want and either cut it out or just draw on it as is. We're also going to need some colors. I'm going to be using watercolor today in this little box, but you could use colored pencils or markers or paint or even cut paper, whatever your preferred method of putting color on your art is. Because I'm using watercolor, I'm gonna have some other tools today. I'm gonna to have some tape to tape my image down and I'm gonna have a little cup of water. Last but not least, I'm gonna need a pencil with an eraser so I can do some sketching. All right, so here we go. I'm just getting started. So the first thing I do is I tape my paper down to the board that I'm working on and I just use some masking tape to do that. So I decided for my card, I wanted to do a salmon. So here you see me sketching a salmon. Off camera, I have a photo reference that I'm kind of looking at to give me an idea of what the salmon looks like. So the first thing I started doing was uh, sketching in the blue. So I'm using uh, just some really wet paint. Um, that's a lot of water and just a little bit of watercolor so that I can just work in that background because Loteria cards always have a nice washy background to them. So the next step is I started putting in the orange color. The salmon that I'm painting is a salmon that is in the fall spawning. So I wanna have those really beautiful colors of a fall spawning salmon. So starting to add a little bit of green, some of the detail in the fins, a little bit in the head, and just really working slowly, allowing the colors to dry and then building them up and pushing them around to create some shading. Here you see me starting to add some details, um, some details in the fins, some spots around it, bringing in a little more shading around it, um, and then pushing the color, trying to get as much of that orange vibrant color, just like a Loteria card. We want it to be really nice and bright and beautiful. So working more shading in here. Um, this video sped up, but I'm taking my time and I'm moving really methodically and just putting the color down. It doesn't have to be anything fancy at all. Um, as I'm going, I decided I needed a little more detail in the background, so I pushed some blue. And it's about here where I finished the final set of fins on the underside of the fish. And I started thinking about how I could make it more like a Loteria card and decided I need a black outline. Now, the outline, um, I chose to use a marker to really give it a nice, punchy, dark black outline, just like in a Loteria card. And I added some details in the fin and also in the background. One of the defining features of a Loteria card is they all have a number. So I gave mine my lucky number, number 34, and then also a title. The title for this one is El Salmon, which means the salmon in Spanish. And for your card, you can look it up on the internet to see what the Spanish translation of your uh, card name is. And when I'm all done, I take the tape off and it's finished. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's art in action.